Let's see, today we're discussing how to add custom fonts in Notion, whether that is possible in the first place, how it is possible, what that implies, and all that stuff. Um, let's start with the basics. You already know Notion's default font. It looks something like this. And uh, you might have seen that you can change it right here in the upper right corner. Click Style. Default, so this is on when you, you start using Notion for the first time or if you never change it. You can change it to a serif or to a mono font. So a serif looks like this, as you can see. So it's closer to what you might know Times New Roman from, uh, from um, I don't know, Microsoft Word or something like that. And the mono font looks a bit more uh, techy, technical, I should say. Let's see. And the default one is a sans serif, so pretty close to Arial or a, um, what's the name? San Francisco. That's the name of the basic font in Mac. Um, but there's only three options. So uh, what if I want one specific font? This is what we're discussing today. Can you import fonts in Notion? The short answer is that there's no direct way to import a custom font in Notion. You're mainly stuck with these three, oops, with these three things right here. But there are some things you can do. So we're showing here... Uh, four ways, but method one is what I've already shown you. So choosing the, the fonts from right here and then going forward with that. Option two, method two, is a fancy text platform. So let me just open a few of them. Um, this is pretty much turning your text, your text uh, turned into fancy text. So uh, you can scroll through these and assuming you want a portion of your text um, changed. Let's see something else. So something like this or something like this. So uh, if you go to uh, our guide, which I will, by the way, link in bio, um, you will be able to click them right here and choose for yourself whatever you want. So once I do something like, let's say I like uh, this, you just select it, right click, copy. And now if I go right here, I can paste this fancy text right here and uh, it is a bit of a hack but once again this is why when I was giving you the short answer which we've bolded right here um, this is why we said there's no easy direct way to add a, a certain font but hear me out so option two was fancy text platforms you will have to go manually one by one and um, paste it there but of course if uh, if what you need is just a tiny section this works. I guess you could keep on going with it for uh, changing everything on a page, which is better than nothing. Um, but that's about it for method two. Let's see, right here in this example, uh, our guy shows our wall of love and uh, we've we've used some fancy text generator for, for that section. Method three, equations. Um, by using this method, you will have to use latex uh, which is a language that's used for notions equations. So if you are at least familiar a tiny bit with equations, this will be okay to you. If you've never used them or you've been scared by them and never used them, fear not. Uh, it, it isn't as complicated as, as it looks. You just have to copy this thing right here. So right click, copy into, let me close these things, into your notion equation block. And you can change some stuff. So. Uh, in our guide, we have a few examples. Um, this is what we need to copy if you want to make it bold, if you want to make it italic, if you want to add, uh, let's see, custom font one, custom font two. And once you, let me just, let me actually just do something like this just to show you. Let's take this one to show you exactly. So I'll be creating a new block. I'm using slash, but you might as well just click the plus, whatever you want. Um, I'll be doing slash equation. There we go. And yeah, let's see. So let's say I want to make this gray. I know this, but um, you can just go to a flat UI colors or just color picker because you will need what picker. There you go. You will need what is called a hex code. So let's say I'm looking around and I like this gray. I'll copy it. And instead of the 999, I'll just put this here. You will have to, actually, apparently you don't. You, I thought you might have to put a hash, but I, I'm just finding out now as I go that you don't need to do that. Um, 
I've also recommended flat UI colors if you don't know what colors you're looking for, or really any color palette. Uh, many websites that have uh, sections, sorry, palettes of colors with separate sections and what have you. So you can just choose a color you like. Let's make it fiery fuchsia. Let's see. Put it here. I just have a double. There we go. I had a double hash, but then again, I can delete both of them. Um, your text goes here. Thank you for joining me today. Boom. Done. And this is your text right here. Uh, you can change some parts of the equation to change the text a tiny bit. But um, once again, this is another hack or workaround uh, to change your font with, with latex. Sorry about that. Give me a sec. All right. Thanks for bearing with me. Um, what else have we got here? By the way, if you want to get access to a template from above, go get it for free. Oh yeah. Make sure you check our free Notion templates. We, um, we have many, many templates and I mean a lot of stuff, but, uh, right. This specific template is right here. If you just click templates, you'll get it. But if you want to see all our, all our templates in the nav bar, more templates, um, help yourself. But anyway, coming back to what we were saying, uh, the last method is if you have a website built with simple.ink, which in a few seconds, uh, it takes your notion page and it turns it into a website in about 10, 20 seconds. So you have a live website kind of like, let's say chdavid.com for instance, is a notion built website. It looks like this, just like a notion page. Let me take that off. Um, you could go to the settings. So you have right here, site customization and site settings. And we have a section that you see right here, select a custom font. Um, over there, you get a drop down like this one. You have a couple of fonts there, most popular fonts uh, we could that people use that we could add. Um, hint, we are making simple.ink. I am a co-founder, David is the other co-founder. If you click that, if you select the font there and you click save, you can click confirm changes, all the, every text on your website will be with that font. So if you like, I don't know, Inter or IBM, Plex Sans or Oswald, let's say, click that, save it. And now everything on your website will be, will be appearing with that font. Um, again, this isn't native to Notion, so it is still a workaround, but it is an, uh, a workaround worth mentioning out of all these four we've discussed today. So, um, and I would say this is the closest you can get, you could get to uh, changing the font so that other people can see it as well. These things can do that as well, but they are limited in their own. This is the closest you can get to, I have this font, I like it, <clears throat> and I want everybody to see my Notion pages that way with this specific font. As an honorable mention, it is worth saying that if you know how to code and you don't need uh, extensive knowledge, you could be, but the thing is, this is the reason why we haven't added this to, to the list. You could make a, an even bigger effort to uh, change the font that is displayed to you. And if you would like me to do a separate video on that, more than happy to, because it requires a bit more effort, the video will be maybe as long as this one, but over here we've, we've covered different uh, methods. You could make a bigger effort so you can change what you see on the page, but ultimately that would only be to you. So if you have any collaboration or if you want to show it to some, if you even log off of your computer and you log on Notion in, uh, in another instance, in another browser on a separate computer, you might not have that. Um, we've been pondering whether we should add this or not, but ultimately we didn't add it because it is a bigger workaround, a bigger hack a bigger, you know, duct tape sort of solution than all four of those. And ultimately, if you, what you're looking for is to show it to other people, such as with a website, or it doesn't even have to be a, a I mean, for instance, people use Simple.ink to build CV websites. It's a document at the end of the day, but it's easier to send a mikeandrews.com or even chdavid.com as a CV, um, as opposed to sending a file across. So let me know what you think. 
hope all these four methods helped you or maybe just one actually just one has to help you uh, let me know in the comments below what else we can show or or and slash or teach you and yeah drop a comment if you want to see that hacked workaround i don't see why people would want it but here we are happy to help you guys if if this help, helpful yeah to you in any way i'll see you in the next video enjoy the rest of your day